Accused child killer fights to save his own life in a Lexington courtroom. Today we learn more about what police say happened in the hours after they say Ronald Exantis stabbed little six-year-old Logan Tipton to death as the child slept in his Versailles home in December 2015. Prosecutors say Exantis was under the influence of synthetic drugs. The defense says he's mentally ill. ABC 36's Kelsey Thord is covering this death penalty trial that was moved to Fayette County from Woodford because of pre-trial publicity. Day two of this trial focused on the few hours after Versailles police were called to the Tipton household. And for the first time, jurors got to watch video of a bizarre interview that police had with Exantis just hours after he was arrested. You just happen to walk through this house and see a child and then decide to stab him? No, I saw Grace and Henry, and then I saw, I saw surgery. Okay. Yes. And where did you stab this child? Oh, in the head. In court on Tuesday, prosecutors showed jurors this full, close to 30 minute first interview detectives had with Ronald Exantis the morning of December 7th. How did you get to Raquel's confession? What did you call? In the video, Exantis talks multiple times about the television show Grey's Anatomy. Exantis's lawyers say he, a registered nurse, was obsessed with the show and argued that his continued references to the show during his interview show he was suffering from some kind of psychotic break at the time of the murder. Ron said, I saw Grey's and figured I saw Grey Road and that day he recognized her surgery. I reenacted surgery. But the prosecution did not believe that argument, saying during his interview, Exantis knew what day it was, his own address, phone numbers, and other information they say shows he was fully aware at the time. And was he correct about his uh, fiance's name? Yes. His first wife's name? Yes. His vehicle description? Yes. The street name where he parked his car? Yes. Now, due to Vice President Mike Pence's visit to Versailles on Wednesday, the judge decided not to hold trial that day. The trial will resume next week on Tuesday at 9 a.m. For now, reporting in Lexington, I'm Kelsey Thorid, ABC 36 News.